We're back. Oh, we're a little bright, I think. I'm at the cottage. And you're gonna hear the music that I'm barbecuing for chops. I'll show you. Get off. Here's the view. Tonight. I think. The water's like glass right now. And my timer's going off. It smells so good and I'm so hungry. Listen to Zach Bryan's new album, it's so good. I leave here, I'm like, oh, I brought my camera and I'm gonna go home and edit a vlog and I don't have a vlog because I didn't film anything. So, figured I better. We have this little birdie on our like sticker on our screen because uh, a few people have ran into the screen and somebody's actually gone through it, so. Hey, where were you hiding, mister? Where was you hiding? <gasps> What's that noise? Who's that? Are you hungry? <laughs> we get the pork chops off the barbecue and then take the stuff out of the oven and then we're gonna eat. I was on the four wheeler before, it was really nice. Um, but I'm gonna go on it longer tomorrow. So I just got on off the bike. My face might be a little red. I was drinking and I was sitting close to the fire so like I'm hot. Sitting by the fire and across the beach there had been people over there earlier in the day. And I was like oh it's just people. But I was sitting down by the fire alone which it's not far from like our front porch but it's far enough because I'm afraid of the dark <laughs> at 28. and. I kept seeing like eyes or like lights so I took the flashlight and I was like oh shit maybe that's people across the beach then I'm like well it's weird their light doesn't seem very bright and it's like really dark out and it was three coyotes so I was like okay time for me to go <laughs> anyway I'm back in the cottage now and it's nine o'clock so I guess it's bedtime but yeah, we're definitely going to have another fire before we leave, so maybe I'll videotape that. I took a bunch of pictures and videos on my phone, so here you go. I desperately need you coffee. I don't know where dad went. Um, excuse this. <laughs> when people are like, oh, you sh really shouldn't wash your hair every day. It's just going to make your hair more greasy. Well, it's greasy now, so... Dad does this every time he washes the dishes, leaves the sink full 
of the dirty water and it drives me crazy. Okay. Yesterday I had uh, a regular cup of hot coffee. I've been drinking iced coffee. Um, I used to be buying it through the drive-thru at Tim Hortons till I realized how much sugar was in it. <laughs> um, and then it got expensive because now it's like, for a large, it's almost like $5. So that every day gets really expensive. So I started making it at home and for the longest time I was where is it? hooked on this. The Nescafe Espresso, the gold uh, coffee. Um, but there was a period back like, I don't know, 2019. I think I probably talked about it a bit on my vlog where I um, would sleep good. I felt good throughout the day and then three o'clock would hit and it was like I hit a wall and I could not function. I had to go lay down. Um, some of that probably contributed, um, or like the reason was like just my diet wasn't healthy. And when I say diet, I don't mean like I was dieting, just what I was eating in the run of a day. Plus I figured out the amount of sugar that was in those um, iced coffees that I would get from Tim Hortons and or McDonald's. <clears throat> and I would be on such a high all like morning and then I would crash. So I'm sure that played a part in it. Anyway, so I started drinking that and then I was like, well, instead of having an iced coffee now and then one like in a little bit, why don't I just have two in one? So <laughs> I would, I would drink like, I was probably having like the equivalent of four shots of espresso and I would complain that I was like jittery. Yeah, duh. <laughs> um, so anyway, I switched uh, coffee. I was drinking the Starbucks cold brew for a while and then I cut back and was only drinking one, but I still felt like a little jittery. So I switched to regular coffee and now I'm drinking this is just what we had at home. I didn't go out and buy this. This is just the Starbucks medium roast. Um, I look so rough. We're back. I'm back. I'm going to try to talk not so loud because there's a gentleman over there cleaning his fish mackerel. Early are down in Queensport right now and um, I'm starting to notice, I don't know if it's because the majority of the time that I come down here, we have Charlie and I feel like I just can't relax. It's kind of like, um, what I would assume would be like if you had young kids and had to watch them around the water and it's hot and, um, anyway, thankfully I stopped and got myself three tall cans. Otherwise I don't think I'd be able to endure this day. We're down in Queensport. It's a really, really nice spot. There's like a few cottages along here. Um, there's seagulls all over the place right now and one big eagle. I'm gonna see if I can get him on camera because the guy that's cleaning his fish is throwing the guts out in the water. Um, and they're all around. It's a brand new hook. You did? The line bro. It broke? Is the line rotten or it just wasn't tied tight? No, I, I tied it. Um, yeah, but I have noticed that every time I come down here, I don't know if it's like something in the area, which may sound a little like cuckoo, but I just am like, not on edge, but like not in a great mood when I come down here. And I'm really not too sure why because like I'm relaxing, I'm, I'm sitting here in the truck drinking my beer, I just had a sandwich and like there's only like two other people here, somebody out on a boat, like it's not, I don't feel like there's a ton of people around, I don't know how to, I don't know, I've just noticed the last while when I come down here there's just something 
about this area that or it's just I think what also plays a part into it is the two people that I am with um, have never been good at communicating and any little thing that happens is that's your fault that's your fault why did you do that um, and everything's the end of the world there's no just going with the flow and taking a joke or it's just and it just sometimes makes me want to why did I come um, I make sure that I bring alcohol on these trips and so I'm grateful that I stopped and I did that but I think I'm gonna take Charlie for a little walk on this beach here once the sky is done um, there was just a seal. I think it was a seal, but I heard other people down the beach say it was an otter. I think, it, I'm pretty sure it was a seal. It was in after the mackerel. There's mackerel here, and usually this is the spot this time of year where we get, like, the biggest mackerel. Um, that I've seen in Nova Scotia, but Dad said they were small. But the tide is low, so I don't know if that plays a part. Um, oh! I hate bugs. I, like I, probably five years ago now uh, we came down here and we were fishing and dad got a mackerel hook in the shin of his leg which was so gross because it was like in there we actually had to leave here go to the hospital and they had to cut it out um, anyway so I will link that video below um, that was like one of the first videos I got that like got close to like 300 views and I was like oh my gosh so, He's trying to cut the fish and put it in the cooler, but he had the cooler on a slant on the hill and it's cut wheels so it was rolling. Beach. It's pretty cool. I don't know what it's from. It's got like a design on the top half and there's no name that I can read. It was full of shells, but I took it off. I thought that was pretty cool.